Once again, I welcome you all in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. Erev Tov. Erev Tov, sir. Today, uh, we'll start a new chapter. That is phenomenal suffixes on noun. So, before starting that chapter, uh, let us read Isaiah 55 and verses 8. Now, here the verse 8 says, Ki lo mak shevotai. Then second line says, mak shevotekhem. Ki lo mak shevotai. Mak shevotekhem. That means, my thoughts are not your thoughts. So here, for my thoughts, Makshyotai means my thoughts. This pathak yod, it gives us a clue that it is the pronomen suffix attached to the uh, makshav. Makshav means uh, thought, uh, thinking. So, ki lo makshyotai, that means my thought. And here, again, the same word, makshyotheken, means here God is saying that my thoughts are not your thoughts. So here, two pronominal suffixes, the importance of pronominal suffixes, uh, we see here, makshyo thai and makshyo tekhen. That makshyo thai is a first person common singular, that is my thoughts. And pronominal suffix attached to the makshyo tekhen is second person masculine plural. Second person masculine plural that is your thoughts. So, this is the importance of the pronominal suffix. Similarly, here, velo tarkekem and not your ways, derakhai. Not your ways, my ways. Same again here, neum yahweh says yahweh. My thoughts are not your thoughts, neither my ways, your ways. So here, Darkekhem, Darakhai. Darkekhem is second person masculine plural. Pronominal suffix chem is added. Uh, we have learned last time in pronominal suffixes. Uh, that is atem. Atem is second person masculine plural form atem. And this derakhai, that is my ways. My ways are not your ways. So we are going to see uh, if you want to learn and read a biblical Hebrew text. We should be familiar with the pronominal suffixes. Pronominal suffixes we are going to study today. Let's start with this pronominal suffix. Now, if you read first one, read the first one. Susi. 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 Here it is Hirek Yod of Ani, personal pronoun I. So Susi becomes my house. If we add to the construct form of the noun Sus, Sus is having a Shurek uh, as a vowel and it is a, a long vowel. The, generally, this long vowel doesn't. Uh, change. So, <coughs> to see, long vowel doesn't change, surik doesn't change. So, it we have to just add a hirek yod of ani to it and it will become susi. Susi is the first person common singular, it, that is my house. Then, second one read.
Suseka. Suseka is your house, second person masculine singular. A personal pronoun, which is a personal pronoun, Atta. Hmm. Atta. Only Kaap is used here of, instead of Tao. Susekha. Susekha is your house. Then next one read. Susek. Susek. Susek is also your house, but it is feminine singular. Feminine singular, you know, personal pronoun is at. Mm. So instead of Tao, they are using Kapsofit. Kapsofit. So here, Sus Susek is your house. Susek is your house. Mm -hmm. Feminine singular. Mm -hmm. Then, read this one. Suso. 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 Mm -hmm. So, so is his horse. You know that third person is unrelated. All the third persons are unrelated. So, we have to just use follow over there. So, so, so means his horse. Then next, this one. Susa. Yeah. Susa. Susa. Susa, sorry. Yeah. Susa. Yeah. Uh, if you see, there is a makif. Makif, makif, makif. Uh. Hey. Why that makif is there? So that we have to pronounce hey. Yeah. Susa. <coughs> Susa. Now, uh, why they are inserted makif? Because you know that sus means horse and susa means mare. Hmm. Sus is horse and Susa is mare. But here, to make the difference between Susa and Susa with Makip and without Makip, if there is no Makip, then there, that is mare. But if there is a dot in hay, then it is her horse. Her, her, uh, her horse. Okay. So that you need to remember. Hmm. Susa is her horse. Let's uh, read this singular one. Susi. Susi. Susteka. Susteka. Susek. Susek. Suso. Suso. And Susa. 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 Let's look to the plural one. Okay, you know, personal pronoun for we is anakmu. So here that nu is added susenu. Susenu. Note that accent is over the last syllable only. Accent is not shifted to pronominal suffix. Susenu is our house. Our house. First person, common, plural. Then. This one, read. Susekhem. 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 Again here, because this is Shurek is a long vowel, so by because of the addition of the pronominal suffix chem, the long vowel doesn't undergo any change. Okay? So, mm -hmm. Susekhem, that is your house, masculine plural. Just now, uh, we saw uh, that uh, I said 55, 8, your thoughts, your thoughts. Mm -hmm. So for your, this pronominal suffix attached is chem, which is related to the personal pronoun, second person, a masculine plural personal pronoun, atem. Correct? At them. Mm -hmm. So instead of tau, they are using here cup. So you need to note, note it down. 
whereas for first person common plural anaknu that nu is only taken but mm. uh, everywhere instead of tau they have taken kaf okay then second person feminine plural personal pronoun is aten so instead of ten they have taken ken mm. susken so second is your horse second person feminine plural then third person masculine plural read this one susam 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 is their house again this is unrelated because you know uh, they they use it used hem and hemma and hen and hena yeah. so that is unrelated instead of hem they are using now comets and mems of it am and for feminine an an so this is susam everyone says susam 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 susam, susam. susam. their horse masculine plural then last one is susan that susan. is their horse only but it is feminine feminine plural okay so hmm. these are the some plurals are some heavy suffixes so you need to pronounce it correctly so let's begin with uh, this our house read after me susenu 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 susekhem 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 susam susam and susan susan so these are the pronominal suffixes on a singular noun singular noun for all this we saw is sus sus and the construct form of sus is sus only now let's see a second noun that is mare mare you know that uh sus is horse and susa is susa is mare mare and the construct form is susat susat construct form of mare is susat now let's see here for my mare it is again susa or tau they are using direct your susati 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 is my mare susati my mare then for your mare susatekha 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 for your mare feminine singular susatek 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 is the pronominal suffix is taken from again you can watch uh, personal pronoun at mm. again here susato everyone say susato 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 is his mare his mare and again here susta susta her mare her mare susta is her mare so you can see here susati susateka susatek susato and susata susta sus ta sir is it because um, the previous one was for horse 
isn't it? So that is why calf we used. Uh, here one, uh, I think uh, this is missing. Here uh, under Samik, there is Kamets only. So Susata. 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 Okay. Because uh, you can see here there is no vowel. Oh, yes. Sus. Everywhere is Kamets. So here is also yes. Kamets. Yes. So Susata. That is Harmer. Yes. What is your question, sister? No, my question was that now for mare it is um tau is there no for everywhere susa. tau is there hmm. actually susa yeah. is mare hmm. okay sus means or susa hmm. means mare hmm. but construct yeah. form of susa is susat susat and for horse it is uh, that calf is used so yeah construct state is sus only no that is why calf is used you are saying tau yeah. is not used huh for horse. Okay. Because, see, here is also... Plural, I mean. Hmm. Yeah, cap is used, hmm. but there is three consonant here. Hmm. Samek, susat. Samek, samek and ta. Hmm. Three root consonants are there. Cap hmm. okay. is used for pronominal suffix. Okay. Okay. Okay, sir. So susati, actually the root word is susa. That is comet say. You know, for feminine gender, sus or susa mer. Yeah. But construct yeah. form of sus is sus only, but yeah. construct form of susa is susat. Susat. Uh, that is why that uh, yeah. got it. Got it. And after it. that, cap is used over here. Okay, sir. There is susi, my horse, susati, my mare. Okay. Then there is Susekha. Here it is Susatekha. Susatekha is your mare masculine singular. Second person masculine singular of the personal pronoun Atta. Then Susatek. So satek is taken from pronominal suffix is taken from personal pronoun at. Okay. At. Mm. Susatek. Then again here susato. Or susato is his mare. Susato mm. is his mare. And Susata is her mare. Okay, let's yes. read together. Susati, Susati, my mare. Susateka, Susateka, your mare. Your mare. Susatek, Susatek, your mare. Feminine. Your mare, feminine. Susato, Susato, his mare. And Susata. Susata, Susata her mare. Let's see the plural. Now, you know, it is anachno, so mm. susatenu. Susatenu. Susatenu is our mare. Susatenu. Susatek chem. Susatek chem. Yeah. Okay. Here, here, chem chem. here, if you see the syllable, susat thekem. Mm. Susat chem. That is your mare. Then here also, susat ken. Your mare. Mm. Feminine plural. And here, Susatam. Susatam. Susatam is their mare, yeah, masculine yeah. plural. Third person, masculine plural. And Susatan is their mare, third person, feminine plural. Okay. So let us read together this one. 
Susatenu. Susatenu. Our mayor. Susatkem. Susatkem. Your mayor. Your mayor. Then Susatken. Susatken. Your mayor, feminine plural. Your mayor, feminine plural. Susatak. Susatam. 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 Susatam is their mayor. Feminine masculine plural. And Susatan. 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 Their mayor, feminine. Feminine plural. So you need to remember here two things. To see Suseka Susek Suso Susa. Here everywhere pronominal suffixes usage is there, except for third person, his house and her house. That you need to remember. Similarly, for plural susenu susekem. Then susekhen, susam, susan. Okay, here also pronominal, uh, personal pronoun is used, except the third person. And for mayor, construct form susat is used. Susati, susatheka, susatek, susato, susata. Here also susatenu, susatkem, susatken, and susatam, and susatan. Only the third person personal pronoun is unrelated over here. Otherwise, you will find for cup, uh, they have taken the cup as the ending for attaching personal pro uh, pronominal suffix and all the uh, vowel pointing of personal pronoun is used. So any difficulty in understanding this? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take a second example. That is Dawar. Dawar. What is the construct form of Dawar? Can anyone tell me? Devarim. No, no. Construct form of singular. Dawar. Dawar. Devar. 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 Construct form of Dawar is Dawar because of the third person, uh, third vowel pointing rule. Dawar. Mm. Now, for this Dawar, they attach the pronominal subject. Dawari. Dawari. Again, here, Dawar means a word. Things or matter. Dever means word, things or matter. And here, if you see, uh, when we attach to the dever, personal pronoun suffix of ani, that is here at what happens? That pathak under with because of the attachment of, because of the addition of this direct yod, pathak under wow, this uh, vet is changed to comments. <coughs> so here it is, Devari. Devari. Devari means my word. Then here it is, Devareka. Devareka. Devareka is your word, masculine word. singular. Here it is, Devarek. Devarek. Your word, feminine mm -hmm. singular. Devaru, his word. Devaru, his word. And Devara, her word. Devara. Now tell me, uh, if we take the example of sus, sus means horse, susi means my horse. Here, for they were, why this vowel pointed pointing changed?
What what sir? I didn't get you. Why the vowel point changed? Why the vowel pointing changed here? From from Davar, you are saying? Yeah. From Davar to Devar, how it changed? Devar. That is that is for for uh, construct state, no? Yeah. No. Uh, in construct state, it is Devar. In construct state, it is Devar. Under Beth, that is Pathak. But when we add Thirek Yod, a uh, pronominal suffix of the personal pronoun Ani, what happens? This Pathak changes to, again, heightens to comets. So you need to remember that. Devari is my word. Devarekha. Your word, second person masculine singular. Devarik is Arik. your word, second yeah. person feminine singular. Devaro is his yeah. word. word and Devara is her word. Everyone say Devari. 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 My word. My word. Devarekha. 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 Your word. Your, your word. word. Devarek. 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 Your word, but it is yeah. feminine mm. singular. Your word, feminine singular. Devara, Devaro. 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 His word. His word. word. And word. Devara. 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 Her word. By using this pronoun, pronominal suffixes on noun, you can make uh, small, small sentences also. Hmm. Shamea, hmm? Shamea, Devari, listen my word. Hmm. Listen my word. Ani Shamaiti Devarekha. I hear your word. So we can make a small, small sentences by using this pronominal suffixes on noun. Ani Okel Devaro. I ate his word. And uh, uh, we we matok shepatai, and it was uh, sweet like a sweet honey to my uh, lips. So I can we can make the small small sentences by using this uh, pronominal suffixes on noun. Let's sing. Say the plural. Okay, devare nu. Anaknu, Devarenu, Devarenu, our word. Our word. Again, here you can see now the syllable changes. They, they becomes open. They were chem. They were chem. Now for all, for all singular and rest of the all plural nouns, you can watch here that under Beth, they were. That is, this is comets, but again, it mm. is changed to its original proposition, pathak. Why? Mm. Because of the addition of the heavy suffix chem and chem. Mm. Okay. Because of that, what happens? This comets changes to pathak. This you need to remember. Yes. Whereas for uh, sus and susa or susat, uh, there is no change to plus because of the long vowel. Long vowel generally uh, doesn't undergo any change. Okay. Yes. But this characteristically long vowel doesn't undergo this change. But this long vowel, comets, pathak, it undergo changes 
because of the third vowel back rule. And here we see that there were chem. Everyone say there were chem. Your word. Your word. Your word. There were chem. There were chem. There were chem. That is also your word. Your feminine, feminine plural. plural. Devaram. 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 Their word. Their word masculine. masculine plural. Plural. And Devaram. 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 That is their word. Feminine plural. Sir, one thing I want to ask. Yeah. Now for nouns, uh, we are ending a pronominal suffix, right? Yeah. But uh, is the pronominal suffix for verbs also? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it is different or same? Yes, yeah, the same. Same, well, but only... It is related to the personal pronoun only. Hmm. So if, if we remove the noun and put a verb there, it will be same. For example, right? last time we saw... Uh, Shamar. Hmm. He kept, Shamar I kept. means he kept. Hmm. Hmm. So, Shamarti, hmm. I kept. Hmm. So, same personal pronoun can be attached to verb also. Hmm. But so, now, the ending will be same. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. This two, three chapters, chapter 14, 15, we are going to see on nouns only. Hmm. Okay. And then after uh, two, three chapters, once again, we are coming back to the verb. All the conjugation which I taught you. And once I taught you all the conjugations, then almost our portion will be finished. And then we'll also end the classes. Okay. Maybe one and one or one and a half months. Because once we reach the verb, uh, it is just a paradigm. Okay. Each uh, we can even finish two two verbs conjugation in one one lecture. Okay. So this is a little hard pronominal suffixes on noun and uh, this participles and all this grammar it is a little hard. So we'll be spending some time here. Okay. So yes. you can I'll give you one or two words. Uh, you have to attach the pronoun and suffix to it. One or two nouns. So that will attach uh, pronoun and suffixes to the noun. Just I will You take one work that is uh
Aav. Aav is father. Father, ah. Okay. So, you know, the construct form is Avi. So, you write all this and send me. The second word I am giving you is uh, bath. Yeah, bath, bath. Daughter, no. Yeah. Or just like horse, uh, I can give you one animal's uh, name. Uh, now, in Hebrew, for dog, it is Kalev. Kalev, Kalev. Kalev hmm. means dog. And for cat, it's Katun. Which you want to take? For cat, it is? Katun. Katul. Katul. Katul, Kato, Katul is for cat and Kaleb is for dog. So you can. My dog, your, yeah. your dog, like that. Huh? Yeah, you can make uh, this also. Also, uh, you can make for. Another animal also, peel. Peel means elephant. Peel. Or you can take sipor. Sipor means bird. Or you can take um, RA. You know what is meaning of RA? Lion. Lion. Or for tiger, you can make uh, tamer. Tamer means tiger. Or para. You can take para means uh, this buffalo. Para. So any animal you can take and uh, take the pronominal suffix. Okay. Yes, sir. Next time, uh, we are going to see uh, pronominal suffixes on plurals. Plurals. Pronominal suffixes on plurals. For example, uh, what is the uh, sus means horse, susa means mare. And if you want to say horses, then it is susim. Same. Susim means horses. But in construct form, it is said as suse. Okay. Similarly, susot. Susot means mare. <laughs> and here, susot remains susot only because of the uh, long vowel. Mm. But for devarim, it changes to devare. Devare. Mm. So pronominal suffixes on the plural nouns. Next time we are going to see. Mm. Yes. There are some uh, changes. Otherwise, it is all same. 
what are the changes next time i will tell you okay mm -hmm. I think next time we'll finish this chapter. Uh, I want you to uh, take you. Just Psalm 103. Psalm 103? Yeah, three. You had told me last time. Today, Many are absent. I think okay. are Do it next time. Only <laughs> yeah. three of us are there. Next time, better. Okay, I will just take. Uh, uh, tell me in which of the chapter throughout the Bible where you will find yourself. Yusuf. Yes. Exodus. No. No. In which chapter of the Bible uh, you will find yourself? Or in which book? Psalms. Psalms. Where? Like usually when the uh, one book which tells about the future. Revelation. Yeah. Revelation. Oh, okay. Okay. Next time. Verse, and next time we'll take that Psalm 103. Yes. I practice that a lot, but uh, when again I go through it, I forget the words. <laughs> Okay, uh, we'll read this uh, Revelation 7 chapter and verse 9 where you will see yourself. After finishing your race on the earth according to the deeds which you de do in on this earth. Uh, I, I may not say according to the deeds because the salvation is free. By faith in Yeshua, uh, we had we have received salvation, and because of that salvation, we have assurance in Exodus chapter. Uh, sorry, this uh, Revelation chapter seven and verse nine, uh, which says, "Akhreken raiti vehine hamon raf asher lo yakol ish le limnoto mikol hagoim veha." Mishpachot, Veha Amim, Veha Leshonot, Vaya Amedu, Lifne Hakise, Ve Lifne Hase, Vehem Melubashim, Shemlot, Lebanot, Vekafot, Temarim, Be Dehem. Now, here in this Seventh was you will find many pronominal suffixes. I will just uh, zoom it so that you will see it. I think uh, we have We've gone to chapter six, read chapter seven, and was eight. So 
after this akreken akreken means after this raiti means i saw see here pronominal suffix t raiti i saw vehine and behold hamon rab multitude rab means great hamon means multitude great multitude Asher, lo yakol ish, which no man, ish means man, yakol means can. No man can put number. Which no could, no man could number. Limnotho, limnotho means from, out of. Mikol hagoim, from all, goim means nation, from all nation. We have Mishpakot means all tribes or all families. We have Amim from all peoples. We have Leshonot from all tongues. Vaya Amedu means they are standing. Standing. Amed standing. Lifane Hakise standing before where? Hakise means before the throne. We lifne has say and before say say means what lamb and who is the lamb of God? Yeshua Hamashiach. Behem and they melubashim and they have a red or they have uh, they they are wearing shemolot uh, shemolot lebanot white robe. With Kafut Temarim Bidehem, and they are having uh, palms in their hand. Temarim means palm, and Bidehem means hem. Hem is there. Bidehem, and their hands, they are having palms in their hand. Okay, so again, my question is Do you see yourself in this verse? We are having palms in a hand. But can you see this yourself in this verse? Yes. <laughs> all kinds of people that. <laughs> all kinds of people. Yeah. Multitude. Or tribes. Great multitude. Yeah, great multitude. And in this, because we are from going, that is nations, right? Gentile people. And here it could not be numbered. So, uh, as I was reading and with the revelation, I got this thought. That's only that is I am sharing with you. Uh, if you are doubting this scripture, doubting this verse, maybe we will miss it then. Because all kinds of people, all multitude, yeah. every tribe, every tongue, every nations, they are standing before the throne and before the Lamb. And in their, they are having a white robe. They are wearing a white robe and in their hand, hands are tamarim, that is palm in their hand. And they are praising God. And in praise, what they are saying Here, and they cried, Bekol Gadol with a loud voice, Lemor, Ha Eshua Lelohenu Ha Yoshev Al Kise Velase. And they are saying, Salvation Ha Yeshua means salvation, Lela Lelohenu means to our God, Ha Yoshev who sits. Yoshev means sits. Al Hakise Vela She. Salvation belongs to whom? To God who sits on the throne and to say, say means lamb, who is at his right hand side. Vekol Ha Mal Akim Amedu Savib Lakise Vesavib La Sekenim Ule Arbae Hakayot and all the angels 
standing surrounding the kisse means throne and uh, uh, surrounding second in means the 24 elders ule are by hakayot means that four animals that four living creature they are surrounding that four living creature al fanehem li fane hakisse wa istak u lelohim and they are worshiping god istak u means worshiping god vayamru amen ha beraka and they are saying amen ha beraka means blessings ha kawot means glory glory we have kokma means wisdom we have toda means thanksgiving thanksgiving we have hadar means might or glory we have quack means power we have oz means strength lelohenu le olme olamim amen to our god who reigns or who is forever and ever who is everlasting to everlasting amen praise the lord praise the lord sir praise the lord yeah. so uh, it's very beautiful uh, to read uh, this scriptures in uh, new testament portion also uh, it gives us uh, so much uh, joy in reading this in uh, hebrew so you can also read by opening a sar shalom bible and there are uh, many other versions of the bible in new testament uh, hope of israel is also uh, one of the version and the one i am referring to uh, there is one more version which is more reliable uh, that all new testament i have brought from uh, jerusalem so <clears throat> you start uh, reading new testament scripture portion also it is so much blessed after learning pronominal suffixes and verbs i will better understand all the scriptures so once again yahweh elohim bless you yahweh barakata i request sister archana to close the session with prayer आमच्या सर्व गोष्टींसाठी तुझ्याकडे मागत आहेत बाबा सकला आमचा चांगला होते झाला म्हणून उपकार मानतो दे बाबा आम्हाला ज्या गोष्टी सरांनी शिकवल्या त्या आम्हाला समजल्या म्हणून उपकार मानतो दे बाबा आणि इथून पुढे दे बाबा आमचा सांभाळ कर आमच्या बरोबर राह दे बाबा असं तुझ्याकडे मागत आहे प्रत्येकाबरोबर राह दे बाबा आमच्या सर्व स्टुडंट बरोबर राह जे येऊ शकले नाही ते बाबा त्यांना दे बाबा तू सांभाळ दे बाबा त्यांच्या काय अडचणी असतील त्या तू दूर कर दे बाबा असं तुझ्याकडे मागत आहे आज विशेष करून सरांसाठी मागत आहे देवपा त्यांच्या फॅमिलीसाठी मागत आहे देवपा ते आम्हाला शिकवत असताना आम्हाला व्यवस्थितपणे कळावं असं त्यांनी कृपेन कर देवपा आमच्या प्रत्येकावर आशीर्वाद पाठव देवपा आणि आम्ही हा अभ्यास करत असताना देवपा ह्या भाषेचा अभ्यास करताना देवपा ह्यातून तुझं नाव गौरवलं जावं असं तू दयान कृपेन कर देवपा अशी संध्याकाळ तुझ्या हातामुळे देत आहे येशूच्या गोडांपैत नाव मागते म्हणून तू आई होता